In this video, we'll discuss how to build a triad. Triads are chords that have three parts. The foundational part, or the root of the chord, is in the bottom. Then the middle note of the chord, called the third, because it's three notes up, is called the third. And then the top of the triad is called the fifth, because it is five notes up from the root. So if we were to count from the bottom of this triad to the top, we'd find that we had one, two, three, four, five steps involved, and the chord involves the first, the third, and the fifth step. The first we just call the root because it's the foundation or the bottom. Uh, the name of the harmony is the name of that note. In this case, it's an F triad because this note here is F. That's the bottom space of the treble clef staff. Then the third would be three notes up, A, and then the fifth would be five notes up, C. So this triad is spelled F-A-C. It has a root, it has a third, and it has a fifth. Now, if you look at that triad and um, see how there's something that's in common between the root, the third, and the fifth, in this case, they're all on spaces of the treble clef staff. And it turns out that triads are in consecutive spaces or consecutive lines. I have a saying that goes something like this, if you find the snowman, you will find the triad. So for instance, I like to think of the root, the third, and the fifth as kind of being the base, the middle, and the um, head of a snowman. So you put a top hat on that, put a little carrot nose on it, and some uh, coal buttons, and maybe uh, some arms there, and you got yourself a, a snowman, right? But you, you find that snowman by by using consecutive spaces, or you could also build that snowman on consecutive lines. In any case, you will build a triad. Now, triads have qualities. So for instance, the first triad I built, F, A, C, is a major triad because it has a major third on the bottom, these are intervals, and a minor third on the top. The outside of this major uh, of this major triad, the bottom note F to the top note C is a, a perfect fifth. And that'll be true for both major and minor triads. Now, if I take the same F, A, C, you know, con uh, uh, adjacent or consecutive spaces, and I lower the third a half step to A flat, now I have a minor triad. Still looks like a snowman but it's a minor triad, and the reason is the intervals now are different. Now we have the minor third below, and we have the major third above. A flat to C is a major third, and F to A flat is a minor third. But notice that we still have a perfect fifth as our outside notes. So to build a triad, you basically start on a space and go up a space and then another space, and you get yourself a snowman, you got yourself a triad, or you could start on a line. Let's try a triad that starts on a line. This, this triad will start on G, and we'll go up a third to B, and we'll go up a third to D. So we have our snowman, G, B, D, right? That's root, third, and fifth. And because G to B is a major third, and because B to D is a minor third, this is a major triad. It's a G major triad because G is our root. Now, to, to form a minor triad, all I have to do is change the G to B flat. Now, that is a minor third. And then B flat up to D, that is a major third. And so now I have a minor triad. And again, there's a perfect fifth from G to D, uh, the outside notes. There are four qualities of triads, uh, generally speaking, uh, major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Let me show you what diminished triads look like. So diminished triads have not only a minor third from the root to the third, right? So that's a minor third from, from F to uh, A flat, but then they have another minor third, in this case from A flat to C flat. So the root and the third, uh, the root to the third is a minor and the third to the fifth is a minor. And it turns out that the outside notes now are actually a diminished fifth, not a perfect fifth. So let me build one more 
diminished triad will start on D and we'll go up a minor third to F and then we'll go up another minor third to A flat. So here we have minor third, minor third, and um, diminished fifths on the outside, right, B to A flat. So we have two minor thir thirds here, or sorry, we have two, um, <laughs> we have two diminished triads for you. This is an F diminished, this is a D diminished triad. Another way to look at this, though, real quickly, is you might start with a major triad and end up with first a minor, then a diminished, just by lowering some of the chord members. So I'm going to put an F major triad, the one we began with, right? There's an F major triad. Once I lower the third, this major triad becomes a minor triad. And once I lower the fifth to C flat, this minor triad becomes a diminished triad. There's also an augmented triad, and that's by starting with a major triad and then expanding or increasing the fifth. So the intervals for an augmented triad, A for augmented, is major third, that's a major third, and then another major third. And let's just look at one more of these. Uh, and I'm going to just draw the staff. One, two, three, four, five lines. There's my treble clef. And I'm going to start on, say, the note E flat. So E flat to G is a major third, and then G to B natural, right? not B flat, but B natural, is a major third. So two major thirds is an augmented triad. In this case, it's an E flat augmented triad.